hello friends so today we are going to look what are user defined table types okay uh, so as usual the agenda would be understanding user defined table types and you might have term, uh, heard the term table value parameter right this is nothing but passing this user defined table types to a procedure or of user defined functions you know okay i would you know we would look into this uh, with the help of a practical demo so first of all under, uh, let us understand what is user defined table types user defined tables represents tabular information very simple right uh, when you create this type of a data type right uh, it can hold uh, the table type of values that is uh, the values into rows and columns okay uh, used as parameters to the stored procedures and UDF we already talked which is called as a table value parameters you can pass this user defined table types to a stored procedure we will see this into the demo cannot be altered after they are created you cannot alter this right uh, there is no alter statement uh, possible with the user defined table types you will have to drop and recreate them also if uh, any single reference is still present uh, with the user defined table types right then you cannot even drop this user defined table types you will have to actually drop the dependent object and then you can drop and recreate the user defined table type you can pass multiple user defined uh, table types to a stored procedure like any other uh, data type which you can pass as an input parameter uh, you can pass multiple user defined table types if the if there is a business requirement okay so yeah as usual let us see in action uh, so that uh, you would understand this uh, more uh, clearly uh, let me first create uh, you know delete this everything uh, give me a second right okay so now how to create a user defined table type this is a very simple ddl statement create a type a name of the user defined table type and then you specify as table and then the column names with their data types right so let us create this user defined table type and where you can see this user defined table types expand the database expand programmability expand the user defined table types and there there it is you can see this employee id uh, as we we have created okay now uh, here we are going to use a uh, two statements okay i think we don't have to create this one uh, sorry so this one first of all okay now here we are going to see two usabilities right one is with how you can populate this user defined table uh, type outside of the procedure and then passing this user defined table type with the populated data to the procedure and then inserting the record into the physical table for that let me create one employee table here so now we have both this uh, employee table also with the same structure uh, you can see employee ID uh, and employee name and the user defined table type as well with the same structure employee ID and employee name okay how to use this in a procedure uh, called as a you know uh, which is term as a table value parameter okay so while creating the procedure you will have to declare one input parameter with of with the type of that user defined table type and uh, whenever you are actually specifying or whenever you are you are using this user defined table type as an input parameter you will have to specify this read only so i'm creating one procedure here employee insert i'm using this user defined table type uh, as an input parameter and then uh, simply inside the procedure i'm inserting the values of uh, into the employee table uh, from this user defined table type okay so let us create this procedure first okay now how to pass this as an input parameter so what i am doing i am again declaring one variable outside of the procedure of the same user defined table type i am inserting some record into this variable and then i am passing this variable as an input parameter to this procedure simple okay so let us execute this done so all the records got inserted into my employee table 
very simple right so this is this this was one of the usability of in uh, you know user defined table types very simple right now let us see uh, how we can use this to fetch the uh, huge number of records so there is a scenario that if you have uh, you know here i have taken uh, the employee table and uh, with the two columns employee id and employee name right and the problem is problem statement is that uh, I would be passing huge number of employee IDs uh, to the procedure to fetch their names from an employee table. Okay, so to do that, let us first create uh, the record with the huge number of records, the table with the huge number of records. Uh, it would get created within four to five seconds. Right, this has been created. So now my employee table contains 50,000 rows, right? And as I told you, the scenario is that I'm passing this 50,000 employee IDs to the procedure uh, to fetch employee name, right? Just see, this is a demo. So, you know, in a demo, I'm just showing it you as a simple example but in real life you can uh, use this in a very complex requirement also okay so here again i am creating one more user defined table type called as emp id type and having emp id as its uh, you know as a table with a column emp id okay uh, let us create this and again in the same way i am creating one procedure get employee data with table value parameter i am defining one input parameter with the user defined table type emp id type and specifying read only and inside this procedure what we are doing you can see here see here we we have just inserted the values from this user defined table types now in this example what we are doing whatever the input parameter was there because it is of table type, you can directly join it with another table, right? So what here I'm doing, I'm actually joining this input parameter, which is of table type, right? With my employee table on the joining column as employee ID from EMP table, that is this table and employee ID from this input parameter. And then I'm fetching all the column from the employee table. So which would also result into getting me employee ID and employee name okay let me create this procedure here procedure is created and then uh, how to use this again i am declaring outside of the procedure i am declaring this one variable emp ids i am inserting the populating this variable emp ids with all the emp id from the employee table okay and then passing this emp ids as a input variable or input parameter to my procedure when i execute this you can see we can get the employee id record okay see here we have selected all the employees emp id from employee if i say uh, where my emp id is less than equal to 10000 for example or 1000 right if i execute this then you will get you can see here only 1000 rows okay let me scroll down this only 1000 rows similarly if i say only 500 rows right simple then of 500 rows also okay so this way uh, you can you know this is the second usability that you can pass this being as a table you can pass you know very huge amount of data uh, to the procedure and uh, you can get another uh, you know uh, column information from another tables with the help of this uh, uh, user defined table type okay on any uh, the other alternative method for this can be that you concatenate this employee ids into a varchar max variable pass this variable to the procedure split again inside the procedure split again this uh, uh, you know uh, employee ids from the variable into the separate ids in and store it into uh, the temp table and then actually join the temp table to the uh, this employee table to get the employee name so this can be an alternative method right uh, but sometimes you know uh, it is uh, it is a very slow performing and again uh, you know you have, will have to do some extra uh, steps into uh, that process of uh, splitting the employees ids and storing them into the timetable right so let us see one more thing uh, like uh, as i you know in the starting i had told you that you cannot drop this employee id's uh, user defined table types sorry not this uh, this user defined table type uh, if it has any reference so for example now this emp id type has been referenced into this get employee data with tvp okay let us try to delete this so when i say delete 
it error outs and let us see what is an error it says that cannot drop type dbo emp id type because it is being referenced by object get employee data with tvp okay so this was what i was uh, you know uh, mean to say uh, during the uh, start of uh, this uh, video right so hope you have uh, you know enjoyed this video and have understood what are user defined table types how to pass them to the procedure uh, so i have shown you two usabilities one is with the insert uh, inserting records to the physical table and one is to get you know the fetch the information uh, from other tables uh, with the help of these uh, ids so hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed please you know press the like button also don't forget to share this video with uh, your friends and colleagues uh, so that uh, you they can also benefit from them uh, from this uh, tutorials and also uh, press the you know uh, the subscribe button so that uh, in future whenever i upload such videos you can get the notification uh, and you can get benefit of it right guys uh, thanks again for watching this video uh, meet you next time with a good next topic till then bye take care